it going guys it's Steve here um, I got a video about Starcraft 2 one of my favorite games of 2010 because it is just a beast and the multiplayer is extremely entertaining so you know awesome anyways a little update before I get started on what's actually going on in this video um, hopefully I'm not 100% sure on this but sometime within the next month month and a half uh, hopefully before that actually um, the other guys here at Boston Studios will be putting up videos on the YouTube page, so it won't just be me and my voice that apparently sounds like the playing dynamite. I don't know, but anyways, yeah, so look forward to that, hopefully. All they gotta do, I think, is just get fraps and it's all set. So, yep. Anyways, in this video, I got, uh, Yabot, or yet another build order tester, and how you download this is just go, um, search for custom games in the top right-hand corner in the search bar, just type in Yabot, Y-A-B-O-T, download version 1.3.1, um, for any of the maps that you want, this one's on Naga Caverns, just cause it's one of my favorite maps, it's balanced and it's awesome. So... Um, in the, before, I just had it up like a second ago, uh, you could pick your race and the build order that you want. There's predefined build orders for each race, and then you can also make your own custom build orders and, blah, blah, custom build orders and save them. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then you can also select the AI's race and the build order that they do. And it's kind of like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, the only reason why I say that is because when I played against the Zerg AI, and um, I had, for, the, for their build order, I selected 6-pool, and they never 6-pooled me. In fact, they didn't even make a single drone. Like, I went over there, attacked, and they had done nothing except started mining. So they didn't even put down their spawning pool, so I don't know. Um, I know that with Terran, I just selected random build order, and it built stuff like it's doing right now and you can't see it but you will so yeah anyways on the left there you can see the orange numbers and the uh they, those are the supply so and when i say that i just mean at the top right hand corner you can see how it's 12 out of 18 right now that's my food supply so on nine as you can see the first number that's why we built the pylon on 13 i build a gateway 14 assimilator 15 pylon so on and so on uh, so you can put down my gateway right there, going out with my scouting probe to check out the enemy base to see what they're up to. So, yep. Um, the blue numbers are um, how much minerals each thing costs, and I'm not sure what the green number is because I you would think it would be gas, it would make sense, except I know that a zealot does not cost any gas at all, so that's obviously not what it is. So, yeah. Um, it's about all as far as this whole build order tester thing goes. You can see my opponent, Terran, is actually building stuff. That's good. Um, oh yeah, and also you may be wondering, well, why bother with this? Um, why not just play normal AI and practice your builds against that? Because one, um, you can have builds right here that you can just go through on a checklist and practice over and over and over again so you know you're not messing up. And two, uh, I think the AI is harder in this build order tester um and what i mean is like normally i won't harass you at all they'll just all you have to do is defend the push the first push and then you win and that goes for every single difficulty of ai when i play um on the build order tester like against terran you know they'll harass my pro line with banshees and whatnot you know so it's pretty cool it allows you to stay on your toes and um it, it's more it's more realistic more blah more realistic you know like as if you're playing a real person so yeah um that's about it as far as the build order tester goes um if you uh, as far as other tips to improve your game other than obviously just practicing i would say watch day nine you know google day nine right now watch his dailies wa subscribe to his youtube page because he is a huge help um, I just, Day9 is probably like the coolest person as far as the StarCraft universe goes. Um, yeah, so if you ask any pros, they say, uh, and you say, what should I do to get better? They say, watch the Day9 daily. 
You know, because Day9 knows what he's talking about. I'm pretty sure he was voted uh, PC Gamer Gamer of the Year. Yeah. Do I need to say anything else? So, that's about it here. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more gaming videos in the future. So, yep, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.